Welcome back. I am, what am I doing? I'm running to the store. I'm running to get a Duncan. I'm running to get a fountain soda. I'm running to get Everly milk. Um, Jared's not feeling well, so I was over there and he was giving Trey a bath and I looked at him and I'm like, what's the matter? You know when you can tell somebody is having something going on? I can always tell when something's going on with my child. Always. By the look, by the way they talk. And he goes, oh, my chest is on fire. I go, oh, no. I said, well, you better do your machine. And he goes, yeah. I said, well, I'll sit here with Trey. Go do your machine. And um, Amelia does not have cheerleading on Mondays. You know what? I'm going to go to the store first. She doesn't have cheerleading. All right, it fell. Sorry. At least this Monday she doesn't. Um, games will be starting soon. So they had to order a few things. But anyways, so Amelia was so concerned. She said, well, I just want to sit with my dad while he does his machine. And um, he goes, well, I got to go get milk. And I was like, don't worry about it. I'll run and get it. Well, no, you I said, I'll run and get it. You do your machine. And I think he said he's out of, I'm not sure if it was Simbacore, if that's the name of it, but it's a preventative medicine. So he's going to call his doctors tomorrow. And usually when you're not feeling well, and with him with his being a chronic asthmatic, but he hasn't been hospitalized in like two or three years, which is simply amazing. Um, so that's going on. And I just, when I can help, I want to help. I don't want people to feel additional stress like they have to rush. Because you know what? I have the time on my hands. Uh, <laughs> just, they do. So, anyways. So yesterday, you guys know I was talking about our great friend, right? Um, and, you know, there were some comments. And if Jerry Ann's going to come after me, that's fine. It's it's a reaction channel. It's thoughts and opinion. And it is what it is. So, whew, you know, I think of when she was reading everything about the um, narcissist. And what I thought, too, was... At one point, she wanted to end the live because they were hungry. Oreo wanted to eat. Well, you tell me you don't have a food bowl and a water dish down in your room. If that's where you spend 90% of your time, I, I don't understand that. But again, that's me. Um, or there's no water dish down at least in the kitchen where the dog can go ahead and have a drink of water whenever she wants okay but anyways Jim was talking about what was allowed on his channel anymore and this and that and she was rude right then and there if you go back and watch the end of it the last 10 minutes when Jim was speaking it was you know how she does that stuff for Oreo and just she's rude Jim doesn't do that to her and if he starts to read a comment she scolds him or when I'm done. Well, you know what? Don't do a live then. If you seriously, which I highly doubt, cannot read your own comments, especially if you have a TV in your bedroom, then I don't know what to say. Because I, I get you have the phone in front of you, but you also have a TV you've said. Oh, but I think this time you didn't have a TV because you didn't want it to interrupt with your internet. And what kind of internet do you have? Because I guess it's not like a spectrum or anything. I'm wondering if it's some type of internet through their phone that they're using. I'm not sure. But she was very rude with cutting them off. And uh, I'll still say this. And when Nellie came in, Nellie did not have a wrench. She did not have a wrench, so I don't know why the wrench was taken away. And Sally did not have a wrench. 
I didn't see at that point, and I'll go back and look, because you know me, I want to make sure that at that point that Jerry wasn't on her iPad. I think Jim made Sally a mod as well as Nellie. Well, why did you take Nellie's wrench away anyways? That's a question I have. Nellie's true blue. She's always been there, so I don't... That was kind of... I would have been like, no, take the wrench away. No. But that's me. Um, and Sally has never, ever, ever been a mod... Oh, I went to the wrong store. Never, ever been a mod on Jerry Ann's channel. That was Jim. I believe wholeheartedly that was Jim. But... I don't know. But boy, she just read that off. She was reading fine. It was a good day with her vision. Really? Really? <laughs> I just... Um, and another thing. I think Jim, it looked like he got his hair cut. Which means... Jerry cut it. Can that man go to the barber? You can order Dave and Sissy's deals because they're so great. Let your husband go to a barber. They'll also shape his beard. And if he did cut it and shape it, it would grow in fuller. Like, <sighs> come on. Even once or twice a year, let him go to a real barber. How much does it cost? $20? Well, your Dave and Sissy deals, many of them cost over $20. And it's always a Dave and Sissy deal. Or I got this because I had credit at, what is it, Macy's or whatever. Well, in order to get these credits, you have shopped. You don't just get the credit. But you're not a narcissist. And Lisa's not around, I guess, because you're upset because you weren't invited to some type of get-together or gathering. You're not mobile. So if you're not mobile, why would someone send the invite for you to go all the way to Texas? You can't make it to your doctors. But you're going to get upset because you didn't get an invite? Come on. Come on, that's supposedly your best friend. You know, friendship goes two ways. Two ways. When she sat there on the couch and was talking about her weight loss, you sure threw her under the bus trying to say, well, she just eats like a bird. Come on, Jerry. It's not that she eats like a bird or was eating like a bird. She probably was eating normal, healthy you know, under like maybe 1,500 calories or something. That's not eating like a bird. But maybe in your eyes, it's eating like a bird. You know, you want to have quantity of life. Your quantity of life would be doing things to make you more active. Doing things to get you more healthy and fit. Why do I say that? You have stage four cancer. Just sitting is not helping you. You need to help yourself. And I'm still gonna say it. Jim and Sally need to quit enabling. Let her get up and do it. She certainly doesn't say, oh, do you want me to let the dog out now? She doesn't say none of that no more, right? Why? Maybe her bluff would have been called. All right, let me go in here. All right, got the milk. We're done there. See, now, to me, if Jim wants to earn money, these are things he could do. And I know a couple people said, well, do you think he could really vlog in the car? Yes, I do. Why? Because Jerry ended, which means she had some type of holder in her van. So Jim is very capable of putting his phone up and just talking. He doesn't, even, I don't even look at the camera a lot. Only when I'm at like a stop sign or parked for a moment. So I'm going to go over here. And of course, it's busy. Wow, it's Monday. A lot of people may be back to work. Because um, school is coming upon us real quickly. And uh, I don't know. I just know that there's ways. I mean, like I said in a comment to somebody... Jim could make a video of him cleaning the kitchen. He could, even if he doesn't want to talk, he could mute it. 
he could add copyright music. He could do something that way. Hold on one moment. All right, so that is done. Now it's time to get me a coffee. I was just thinking too, um, you know how Jerry doesn't want Jim to work, right? But she said she was going to be getting a home health care aid, which I don't know why it's taken so long after um, CC is gone. I, I don't get that. Then it made me wonder if part of her money that <clears throat> she was getting from Social Security, I wonder if it went down because part of it partial maybe coming out of her social security I, d I don't know these are just assumptions and you know what happens when we make assumptions but it's just odd that a stage four cancer patient has not had a home health care person in there you know and to not want her husband to work because she needs somebody to get her things well, you know what? If he worked a part-time job, say he worked, come on, come on. Say he worked three to four hours, you know, a shift, which is possible. Um, McDonald's will work around you. Dunkin' Donuts will work around you. Just many things will work around you. Um, but she doesn't want him to work, okay? She doesn't want him to leave. Here's the thing. How about ask Sally? Would Sally like her son to work and earn some money? Would Sally like her son to have some income instead of somebody always throwing up? You don't make no income. You don't bring no income in. Well, my thoughts and opinion is he lost that job because of you at Walmart. And, and partially he called in sick and just, you know, after being on vacation on a cruise, who does that? He didn't even have vacation time. Like, how many jobs have you made him lose? Because I believe he has said that you call and text so much when he's working. Like, how old are you? Are you like 13 years old and you got to call and text your boyfriend to check on what they're doing or where they are? This is a grown man for God's sakes. They act like their 50s is difficult. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? How hard is your 50s? Yes, you get pains. Yes, I have pain. I have a lot of pain. My daily pain is about a level five. I don't sit home, twiddle my thumbs, and dwell, whoa, whoa, he's me. I have pain. And let me tell you what, you're a man. A man, I don't know, I bet your daddy was a provider. You should be a provider as well. You talk so highly of him, but yet you don't talk highly of your mom. You put her down. Jim, there's a video where you were talking about your mom going into some type of uh, home, but then you mentioned they would take all her money. Oh, that would not be good for you and Jerry. Then you mentioned the 55 and over. And then Jerry has stated, Jerry's words, that mom didn't want to live alone. That even though you found a low income housing, mom didn't want to live alone. Even though there was a house for sale, mom didn't want to. Even though it was in walking distance. I can't hear Sally saying that. And Sally, if you agree that you said that, then I have to say what you're saying and doing is playing both sides of the fence because you want to live alone. You want Jim and Jerry to learn how to live on their own. Which is it? All right. And yes, I stopped and got my neighbor's cigars. I'm a horrible person. The grown man. If a grown man wants cigars, there is nothing. I'm going to say yes. Holy cow. He has a stroke and he doesn't drive and no, I'm going to tell somebody no. Those people are very rude. I just laugh at the comments. But anyways, so it'd be very strange if Sally does not want a grown man to work. He has pain. Well, his pain might be getting worse, and it's not to be real rude, but 
Jim's belly is is very large, very large. I'm surprised the doctors haven't ran some tests on him. His chest is small, his arms are small, his legs are small, but that belly, that's not healthy. No, it's not healthy for him to stay in the home 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 31 to 30 days, whatever, a month, and knock it out and have a life, knock it out and do things. He's not disabled. He's tired. Might he have pulled something and hurt his back by doing everything he has to do for his wife? 100%. People have, um, what is it? Degenerative disc disease. People have that. Like, it's not something like it's so severe because it happened to Jim. Jim really needs to walk. He really needs to walk. He should work with maybe light weights, lifting them in his arms, building up his muscles. He's only 52 years old. And yes, Jim, I have 10 years on you. I challenge you to let's have a walk together. I challenge you to let's lift something, see who can lift more. You're a man, a man. All right, sorry. Had to scan my phone and I don't know. I, as a mother, I myself, raised two boys. I didn't date. I didn't date because I didn't want men around my young boys. That, you know what I mean? Boyfriends can come and go. My sons are my life. And they don't disrespect. They didn't. My son won his past. Um... They believe in working. My oldest son, he he worked hard. He actually worked in an office. He owned a home before he passed. He owned his Mercedes, his dream car. He uh, forgot the truck he had, but I can't think of it right now. But it was like kind of a truck SUV type of situation. And he owned a boat. He had everything he wanted. And then he said, Mom... I'm going to start looking for a serious girlfriend. He didn't want to get in a relationship and not have anything. That's a man. My son, JR, who had issues and problems, battled those problems, clean and sober, and has a job and works. He's a man. A man will support his family. A man would not stay home and give excuses as to why he cannot work. Where did he learn those excuses? Sally worked. Jim has said, Sally works. Jim has said his dad retired from the military. Where did he get the non-working ethnic? Where do you think he got that non-working ethnic? Where do you think he got the right to entitlement? He was taught it by his wife. Those are my thoughts and my opinions. Jim bathed as a child. Jim had baths. Jim used to say he'd bathe before work. Uh, when he was working in the meat department, he smelled like meat. He took a bath after work. Why all of a sudden do you forget to bathe? Because you're watching a sloth, and I'm sorry to say that, a sloth sit and rot. And how I mean by rotten, she's her skin is even rotten. Because why? Because she doesn't take care of herself. Is it the hard truth? Yup, it's the hard truth. But someone needs to tell her. Someone needs to say, hey. You don't get 10,000 steps just walking to the bathroom and taking a shower. No, you don't. Not at all. Not ever. It's not going to happen. Ever. Why don't you show your steps or whatever for the month of July? Let everybody know how much you move. That you say you move so much. 
I'm doubtful that you have 3,000 steps for a month, to be quite honest with you. And if you do, it's because you move your arm a lot. How much do you sleep? It shows your sleep. How much time is in bed? It shows that as well. Time spent in bed. It was so important for you to have that Apple Watch. You just wanted to be like everybody else. Jim had one. Do, do you guys see Jim wearing it? Maybe if Jim does so much work, why not wear your Apple Watch and just show us how much work you do, how many steps you get in, how many exercise moments you get in. If this is a true story, then show it. Prove, prove everybody wrong. I'm home, guys. It might be a short vlog. It might be longer. You never know. But if I'm coming back, I'll leave a little note right here. Until later. Bye. Thank you.